Hello, in just three steps, I'm going to explain how we can create a table in Excel. Now, without wasting our time, the first step, you open Excel, and then you type your data. I'm done with step number one. Step number two, what you're supposed to do, you highlight the given set of data where you want your table to appear, like this way. That's where I want my table to appear. Step number three, and the last one, you go to the insert tab, and then you go to table, and then you click on OK. Boom, our table is there. And then you can change now your table style depending on the style that you want. So depending on your favorite color, you can choose any guys. So for this case, I'm just choosing, uh, let me choose uh, uh, this color. Then uh, let us see how powerful tables are. For the part of sum, I want to find the sum of first number, which is found in cell A2. And then I'm adding to the second number, which is found in cell B2. So once you're done with typing your, your formula that way, the next step is you to press the enter key. Then you will be able to see the results for other data that are in our table. This it is simple like that. And then the second, uh, uh, in this in another column, column D, we are finding the difference between the first number and the second number. So I start with the equal sign and then I'm now taking A2 as the first uh, uh, number. I'm subtracting, I'm subtracting uh, B2 as the second number. So once you're done typing your formula that way, you just press on enter key, then each and everything will be displayed simple like that. For the product, we start with the equal sign and then I'm putting A2, I'm multiplying. So it is star B2 as the second one the second number. So I'm just clicking on enter key. You will be able to see the product of the given numbers. And the last one is quotient. So we start with the equal sign and then we take A2, I'm dividing it by B2. Then once I'm done writing the formula, the next step, you just press on enter key. So boom, you'll be able to see your quotient for number one, my divide by number two, the first number divide by the second number. So that is how simple it is to use tables in Excel. Now, why do we use tables? Tables automate a lot of things that you want to do. That means it simplifies a lot of things. You just write only a single function or a single formula, and then everything will be there for you. Thank you so much. Like our video, please. Thank you.